Dear students, I am here with second podcast of chapter 2 from Hunting Gathering to Growing Food. In this podcast, we will learn about our next topic, a changing environment. Dear students, around 12,000 years ago, there were major changes in the climate of the world with a shift to relatively warm conditions. In many areas, this led to the development of grasslands. This in turn led to an increase in the number of deer, antelope, goat, sheep and cattle, that is animals that survived on grass. Those who hunted these animals now followed them, learning about their food habits and their breeding seasons. It is likely that this helped people to start thinking about herding and rearing these animals themselves. Fishing also became important. The beginning of Farming and herding. This was also a time when several grain bearing grasses, including wheat, barley, and rice, grew naturally in different parts of the subcontinent. Men, women, and children probably collected these grains as food and learned where they grew and when they ripened. This may have led them to think about growing plants on their own. In this way, people became farmers. People could also attract and then tame animals by leaving food for them near their shelters. The first animal to be tamed was the wild ancestor of the dog. Later, people encouraged animals that were relatively gentle to come near the camps where they lived. These animals such as sheep, goat, cattle and also the pig lived in herds and most of them ate grass. Often, people protected these animals from attacks by other wild animals. This is how they became herderers. Domestication is the name given to the process in which people grow plants and look after animals. Very often, plants and animals that are tended by people became different from wild plants and animals. Domestication was a process that took place in many parts of the world. It began about 12,000 years ago. Some of the earliest plants to be domesticated were wheat and barley. The earliest domesticated animal include sheep and goat. Dear students, our next subtopic is a new way of life. If you have planted a seed, you will notice that it takes some time to grow. This may be several days, weeks, months and in some cases years. When people began growing plants, it meant that they had to stay in the same place for a long time looking after the plants, watering, weeding, driving away animals and birds till the grain ripened and then 
the grain had to be used carefully the different ways in which grain was used as seed as food as gifts and stored for food as grain had to be stored for both food and seed people had to think of ways of storing it in many years they began making large clay pots or wove baskets or dug into the ground storing animals over here refers to animals multiply naturally besides if they are looked after carefully they provide milk which is an important source of food and meat whenever required in other words animals that are reared can be used as a store of food